How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and today I have a little video on you. Um, we're going to diagnose whether or not a coil is working in a lawnmower. This lawnmower doesn't have spark. Um, sometimes if your coil's going bad you'll notice when the mower gets hot it'll stall and then it won't restart when it's hot but when it's cold it will restart. This particular mower has no spark whatsoever. Um, you could check the spark pretty much by looking at the spark plug and uh, you can put a spark tester on the spark plug right here kind of like this this is what I use it lights up so I just plug it in the spark plug just like that and once it's plugged in there I hook it up to the coil by attaching it to the end like this a little hard to hold the camera but attach it like that and then pull the starter and see if it lights up that's a real easy way to test for spark another way to test for spark if you don't have one of those light up spark plug testers is to take your plug and plug it into the end of the coil right here like this and then once it's plugged in you want to take the spark pr plug and touch the electrode to the metal and you can have someone pull the starter and see if you see a spark. If there's no spark, you either have a bad spark plug or you have a bad coil or you have some form of a short. So what we need to do to replace our coil is loosen up these 5 16 inch screws and we're just going to remove the gas tank from the mower. That'll be the first thing that we need to take off. So there's three bolts right here. All right, I already have them pretty much loose. So now I'm gonna pull the bolts out. And once I get those out, I'm gonna remove our oil dipstick just to get that out of the way. And I put a towel here to kind of keep that from dripping. And then we're gonna pick up the tank. Usually just locks in and picks straight up kind of like that. Um, the next thing we need to do is move to the front of the machine and we're going to take off this 5 16 bolt and this 5 16 bolt to remove the shroud. And there's also two 3 8 inch bolts on the back of the shroud. So the next thing that I'll do is remove those bolts. Alright, so once you remove the bolts, there's one extra bolt here at the oil dipstick. Once you get all those out, you can lift up the shroud. It should just pop right off the engine, and you can set that to the side. This is your coil or your module, and what we're going to do is we're going to pull this off so that we can replace it. It's part number 1A138521-2. Alright, and that's a, this is actually a Craftsman lawnmower. Um, the model number on it is 9173866. All right, so here's a look at our coil, and basically what we have to do is remove these two quarter-inch bolts to remove the coil. Um, basically, one way to troubleshoot your coil and make sure that you don't have a short is there's a little wire in here. This green wire is plugged up to your coil. That's going to be hooked up to your kill switch. If you unplug that wire by giving it a pull, you can get it off of there. If you unplug that wire, now your mower is not going to be able to shut down. So you can reattach the coil and start the mower. And if the mower starts, then you know that you have some sort of short causing the mower to turn off. So you can trace this green wire up under the flywheel and look for any bare metal that's, or any bare wire that's touching metal. If your mower does start, you can use a pliers and just pull the end, the terminal, off the spark plug and that'll turn off your mower for you. And uh, that's basically how I troubleshooted this one. So I know the problems of coil because there was no spark whatsoever and uh, there was no short and it didn't start. You got to put back on your shroud and try and start it. If it starts, then you know the problem is a short. If it doesn't start, you need a new coil. Sometimes you can get rust in here on this post. 
and that will cause it not to ground properly and if that's the case um, you know you can usually sand that with a little bit of sandpaper uh, rust has nothing to do with the magnets not working on the, the mower because there's a magnet on your flywheel and these things here uh, part of the coil gets its electricity from that magnet spinning doesn't matter how rusty that this stuff is these laminations it's not going to affect the electricity from traveling to test out the flywheel to make sure this magnet's good you can just hold the screwdriver about an inch away and if it sticks to the flywheel like that then you know that magnet's good so now we're just going to loosen up these bolts and we will remove the coil and put on the new coil I'll be using a business card to space it away from the flywheel magnet when I'm done. I'll show you that in the next step. So I'm just taking this off. So here's my new coil. Um, it's a solid state module. It says replacement Tecumseh. And uh, it replaces part 34443D. And this is actually stems part 440505 and uh, you can probably click the link to the Tecumseh or Stens or even Briggs & Stratton website um, or go to Craftsman to find this exact module. So the next thing that we want to do is take our replacement coil and we're going to basically set it on these posts and tighten it down. And uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to file down these posts just to make sure that there's good contact. This is the area that can sometimes give you a little problem, so you just want to clean up the metal. Just using a metal file here, doing a little bit of filing. That way you have good contact between the screw and your coil and the block. There we go. Now we're ready to attach it. So we're just going to take our screws and we're going to line them up with the holes here. Oops, and we're going to line it up right on the posts. So I'm just going to get these screws started and then I'll show you how I back it off from the flywheel. Okay. So right now I have the screws not snugged up, just kind of loose but in place. And what I'm doing is just taking a normal business card and I'm sticking it in between the module and the flywheel magnets. So we'll just slip that in place, put that in there just like that, and then I'm going to rotate it so that the magnet's there, and we're going to push that in. I'll keep a little bit of pressure holding in on the coil, and then I'm going to tighten up my two set screws. And then the coil's in place, and there's the right amount of an air gap. Alrighty, so now I have. Uh, the business card in place and this coil secured I'm going to slip out the business card that gives me about I don't know 5,000 inch gap and then I had to take the boot off the old module or coil and I need to slip that on the end but that takes two hands so I'm just going to put that on and then we'll reattach the shroud and the gas tank and the spark plug and we'll see if it works don't forget to hook up your kill switch and that just goes right on the bottom terminal underneath the coil so you just want to line it up right here and slide it right onto the coil and that looks good okay so now I'm putting back on the shroud and there's two screws in the front that are 5 16 you got one at your dipstick that's 5 16 and on the back side of the block we have two 3 8 inch screws that need to be put in and then finally we'll attach the gas tank up top behind the starter alright guys um, we finished up basically putting back on the shroud tightening all the bolts and stuff <clears throat> I wanted to let you know I make a series of videos, I have some small engine stuff, I have some plumbing videos, I'm going to have a little bit of auto repair stuff, um, pool videos, uh, underlying sprinkler system, a complete uh, 
set that I'm starting up on a shed video so I'm just trying to get all this stuff together so if you want to subscribe every time I make a video um, it'll come up you just uh, click on subscribe underneath my video and uh, you know whenever I make anything or fix anything around the house I'm trying to film it if it only takes one hand for the most part so uh, what we're gonna do is flip this thing around and see if it works Alrighty guys, so this is actually going to be the first cold start for this mower um, this season. It's, it's uh, actually not mine, I'm fixing it for a buddy. So uh, we'll see if it starts, hopefully it has spark at least. So, I'll prime it, see what we got. Ooh, must have spark. Seems good. And as always, I welcome comments. Hi, wife. What? Yeah. What? The fan club's here to see if our mower starts. The fan club. Everybody wave. There's my little nugget, Maddie. Hi, Daddy. My wife. Wave hi, Maddie. Wave hi. Bobby Jr. Alright guys, you made the video. Woohoo! Alright. 